Let me follow. Take the taxi then. Then take the car to the mechanic. my way somewhere, please. I'm really sorry. Excuse me. My friend, get out from there. Get out from that car. Get out, I said. I do die for something. Madam, stop now. I got here before you, didn't I? And the last time I checked, this is a taxi, not your private car that can exercise entitlement over. Don't you have manners? Madam, please shift away. What's so strange? Don't you have, don't you have manners? Madam, let me. Don't you have manners? Oh, you want to drag with me? You, you want to drag? Okay, I'll go away. Go, 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 please. Good day, ma'am. Yes, good day. What's your name? Helen Duro. Helen Duro. Your perspective is? Ac actual accountant. Can I see your file? Small world indeed, isn't it? You're late, you're late. What's the time? Past seven. Ma, I don't understand. The brick is not catching well again. No. You see? If you had sat with the Land Cruiser, I wouldn't be facing this. I didn't want to go out with this guy. I told you. I told you. I'm sorry, Ma. Let me call the mechanic to bring the Land Cruiser. I should be ready by now. I can't wait for that. 
I have a business to catch up. I can't wait for that. Get me a taxi. Okay, one, one just behind us. There's a taxi behind us, Michael. Just come down. Let oh, me, yes. Let me follow. Take the taxi then. Then take the car to the mechanic. my way to somewhere, please. I'm really sorry. Excuse me. My friend, get out from there. Get out from that car. Get out, I said. I do die for something. Madam, stop now. I got here before you, didn't I? I'm, the last time I checked, this is a taxi, not your private car that can exercise a title my over. Don't you have manners? Madam, please shift away. What's going on? You don't you have, don't you have manners? Madam, let me. Don't you have manners? Oh, you want to drag with me? You, you want to drag? Okay, I'll go away. Go, 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 please. Can you move your bag? It's not mine. Hi, please move your bag. I want to sit. And where do you expect me to keep it? Eh? No, I'm asking you. Can't you see those are important documents? If the documents are that important, Christmas in your lap, or better still keep it on the floor. I need to see it. Sister, move your bag now. I please stop yelling. People will come later. I want inconvenience for that. Rubbish. Has anyone been interviewed? Nobody has gone in yet. The HR said the CEO we handed this part herself. I presume she's not ready for us yet. Oh, God. I was even rushing. I thought I was late. Good day, ma'am. Yes, good day. What's your name? Helen Duru. Helen Duru. Your perspective is? Ac actual accountant. Can I see your file? Small world indeed, isn't it? Get away from me. This is all your fault. I'm sorry now. 
sincerely, just believe me. I did not mean for you to miss your interview. I just needed an alcohol buddy. If I had known you would miss it, I would probably, maybe, wouldn't have drank, I guess. But anyway, I did not mean for you to miss it. So did the alcohol solve any problem? But instead, we just got migraines and I had a shitty day. Look, you have to stop turning to alcohol for help. Or at least stop dragging me into it, please. Uh -uh. I'm sure someone else, or even you in my shoes, you would have been depressed. Okay, imagine somebody's coming you at 1.2 million near. You just imagine that kind of thing. You don't expect me not to feel bad or feel down. Hmm. It's true, Sha. God will punish those people, I Be swear. <gasps> Better thunder. Better thunder that I don't have mother and father will punish that guy. You know, I've been saying this thing that ever since I knew myself as an adult, I'm suspecting. There's, there's what I'm suspecting. Eh? That man never likes me in my village. You're following me from my village. I, I can tell you this. I can tell you this thing. You're following me from my village. Because how? Where? This is why I want to travel. I want to travel. I'm just preparing my documents. I just want to go. I see money now. Yankee. Oh, well, that's the spirit of my American doctor. Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> but still, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, babes. I... I wish you had the job, though. I wish you had that job, eh? At least we'd have seen money that would and solve our problems. We have lots of problems. I, I am owing. No said they owe for this phone now. Is it by they disturb me? I need that money. Oh. <clears throat> I I didn't miss the interview. So what now happened? Why can't they blame me? Why were you blaming me? Remember Patrick Ifoma? FCA now the seminar I've been saving up for. Oh, uh, your mentor now, the one in accounting field, yeah? Mm. What happened? She carried out the interview. She is the CEO of the insurance firm. Are you serious? That's that's good news. So, did you tell her how much you admire her? Uh -uh, don't tell me you went there. Don't 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 tell me you went there and you got starstruck. Babe, you can't imagine what happened. You know, I dragged taxi with this woman while on my way to the company. Actually, I even shoved her out of the way to board the taxi myself. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ah, your village will be following you. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Why were you now upset with me? Ah, this is what you call, you, you chop the hand that fed you, Abby. You bite the hand. Ah. Uh -uh. Please, can you just reduce your uh -uh. voice? Reduce your voice now. What, what were you expecting me to do? Now you cause the thing now. If these people come to, to carry my phone, it's you. Why, why would you do that kind of thing now? Why would you do it? Wait, so come to think of this, was it not you that said I should bulldoze my way through? I just followed your advice now. I told you to go and chase your madam away from the car or a taxi. Uh uh, no. I cannot do that kind of mistake. This one is on you. Check it. It's basically on you. Because you don't expect, you don't expect, you know, uh, you know rich people. Let me just tell you the truth now. Rich people, they don't forgive easily. Oh. Just forget it. That job has gone. They don't forgive easily now. Mm -hmm. Where you expect where you expecting her to accept you? <laughs> I just that you are dreaming. So <laughs> we have to just look for something to make me money because we have rent to. We have bills, girl. This is a very big mess. I don't resist my life tired today. Like, what kind of nemesis is this? Huh? Who's that? I'll stop it. Ellen. Ellen, when would you stop ignoring this guy's calls? Or when would you stop? Letting these guys' calls be wasting. Why, why, why would you ignore these guys' calls? Why? Babe, look, I promised myself that I will get this job first before anything. I can't, I can't commit myself to a relationship while I don't even have a source of income. Come on, I can't do that. So, 
being hard on yourself would get you the job or ignoring his calls will get you the job. Which, which of them? You need to start talking. Like, there are no good guys outside. Let me just tell you the truth because streets know they smile and you know it. Streets know they smile. I don't understand why you would leave fresh guy like that. Ah, ah. Miriam. Eh? Now, job, a big guy be your problem. What is wrong with you? Which one is it? The both of them. Are you sure you're my friend? Mm -mm. You're an enemy. That's better because I don't understand you again. No. Eh? Talking about job, you're talking about my. Who is your Please leave me alone, I beg. Oh. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Um, please come in. Thank you. Are these mine? No, for Miriam actually. And you mustn't take a bite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, sorry for showing up unannounced. I mean, you ain't taking my calls or replying my text messages. You left me with no choice. Um, I've just been quite busy. Mm. I take it that the interview didn't go well. Huh? Do you want to talk about it? It was just, it was just embarrassing. Can we just keep that part for now? Okay, okay. As, as Her Majesty pleases. <laughs> yeah, so I won't be staying for long. Um, I've got a meeting to attend, uh, so just stop by to say hello and check up on you. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Helen, don't be too hard on yourself, okay? The interview didn't go well. Let it go. You can rant to me if you want to. There's no pressure. You... It did something. You gave yourself an ultimatum you know, for taking this relationship to the next level. You know, we do all get in a job thing. And there's absolutely no pressure on my end. Please, don't block me off when things go bad. I'm here for you, okay? You can lean on me. I want you to. Okay? Sorry, excuse me. Right. Um, I have to run along now, my friends. The one are supposed to, you know, the ones are supposed to start the new startup with. They're waiting for me. I have a meeting. Okay. So I have to go. So I can stay for long. Uh, okay. Yeah. Don't ignore my calls. I won't. Reply my messages. Especially the reels I sent you on my IG. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, bye. All right, bye. Now this morning you remain for me. Wait me this now. Why would you remain three pizza for me now? So you, you know how many pizza is inside this thing? Just meant three. Just three. Miriam, why are you such an angry? So three slices of pizza out of eight is not good enough for you, are we? Wow. Three slices of pizza. Just imagine yourself. Three out of eight. Does it make sense to you? Because please, 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 please. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't know why you don't want to accept that guy. Eh? Someone that loves you, that cares for you, at least will be giving us things like this. Every day, I'll be eating and I'll be getting fat. So you want to be getting fat on my head? <laughs> Babe, you know this thing is not easy now, eh? I don't want to become a burden to someone. I want to stand on my own two feet before anything. Oh, shame. It's independence. 
Shad don't stop him from coming to the house, at least bringing gifts for us. Did I stop him? I never did. He didn't even spend much time today, he just breezed in and out. Oh, yes, but um, after the last time he came and you embarrassed him, I told him not to come during the day. Why would he be visiting me during the day? It just reminded me of how jobless I was. He visited me in the day while my mates are at work. Okay, what about at night? You also told him not to come at night. Come on, I just didn't want you to be uncomfortable. It would be weird. Sister, was I complaining? I was not complaining, no. I don't know why somebody wants to be taking Panadol on top of another person's headache. Does it make sense? Please don't stop the guy from not coming to this house. Don't, don't stop him. Let him bring things to this no house. No way. I don't know. Hey, this guy. I got the job. Which job? The interview I went for, I got the job. <laughs> I'm so really employed. Oh my god, look at it. I got it. Congrats already. Good morning. I'm so happy for you. Guy, my dream life. And can you imagine that the starting salary is 150k? You didn't want it. Guy, <laughs> we don't make come. We, we have made it. Actually, we've made it. Actually, when is there? It's there, girl. <laughs> I always knew that that woman was a good person. Ah, who would grudge me? Grudge me. I never knew they are actually good for giving people in this country. I'm telling you. So that means, okay, that means <laughs> my friend has a job now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Congrats, baby. Babe, I am so, so saying yes, there is a tomorrow. You should, you should have to, baby. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh, my God. You really have a job. I know, we're going to have money in this house. Money in this house. No, you're talking. Things. Little, little things. You know you're weird, right? How? I mean, I've never seen anyone this excited about work. <laughs> Who wouldn't be excited to put his or her skill to practice? I mean when it's not manual labor they're forcing me to do. I can finally get to practice as an actuary accountant. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, whoever your employer is, they should probably do a bond offering to them because from now on I, I get to call you my girlfriend. And you're also enjoying a frame because this is my trick. Hey, hey, slow down, man. <laughs> Isn't it a bit too early for you to start showing off? Who cares? I have a salary now. Like, I have an actual source of income. Mm, that's good. But this is day one of our relationship. So it's my treat. And um, after lunch, I'll take you shopping. We'll take you to the salon. You do whatever you want to do. Come on. Isn't that too much? Yeah, wait, wait. Just see this as prep for your new job. You need to take it seriously. But when it's month end, then you can take your boyfriend out and spoil him silly. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, yeah? Toast to that. Me now, you're going to be finer than your boss. <laughs> Accountant to four. Please stop that. Please stop it. Please give me workings. Give me workings. Uh -uh. Can you see what you've been missing? Just first day of relationship, you're already getting your person's 10 years investments. <laughs> yes, now. I've been telling you this thing since. Can't, don't you think you're overreacting? 10 years? Stop playing, girl. <laughs> and it's going to give you more. Because this is just this is just the beginning. He's just trying to test you, and I'm sure of it. It's going to give you more. Look at you, you did a whole makeover. Yes, girl. Who are you? <laughs> My dear. Helen, who are you? I am your friend. Who are you? <laughs> God. Hmm? Godwin. When? I'm not a spoon. I know I'm the apple of your eye, but I feel like I'm a cockroach. Yeah, I feel like they are using me to play football. Yeah, very stupid. <laughs> 
<laughs> but I'm happy for you, girl. Thank you. Like, I look like an actuary accountant right now. I'm so proud of myself. Hey, no, you should be proud of yourself, girl. It's just what you got for you. Let me test this one now. Test what? This one. My friend, it's not your size, I beg. Ah. What is it? It's not like I'm going to actually take it. It's just to test. It's not even going to be very fine on me. And I'm sure it's going to be like ugly. But then you know now. Let me just test my friend thing. Just calm down. I know. It's not your size. Very soon now, it will grow wings and fly into your wardrobe. It's not your size. All right, give me my tea. Go and buy your own. But let's go get a man. Ah, ah, ah. You're a very stingy girl. Because I know that I gave you this plan. Like, it's me that gave you this plan. And then we, we actually actualized this thing together. And then now I'm, st I'm, I'm supposed to go and look for a guy. Yeah, speaking English. You never see anything. Give me a No problem. I know I actually trained you to do these things. And now you, are, you see, you are eating the finger that fed you. You're very stupid. You trained who? I'm stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> you're going to you're going to stupid. <laughs> You have, you have gone to go and look fine now, you're dissolting. Oh yes, I look so beautiful, girl. You're a beautiful girl. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I guess you're the second lucky candidate. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. First day? Uh, no, I resumed last week. I have been expecting the other candidates I'm supposed to share office space with. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a pleasure. See nice me, to baby. Meet you. you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. And you too. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> hey, Jiro. Uh, I don't know her position. So please, can you help me confirm which one of us is supposed to share the office space with you? Oh, okay. I'll just ask the HR and um, get back to you. Okay. You are Helen Duru, right? Yes, I am. Okay, um, <clears throat> well, the desk is for the actuaria accountant. Oh. oh Helen Duru. Uh, this is your uniform. Your position here is a cleaner. What? <laughs> a cleaner, ma'am. But how? I was earlier informed that a cleaner will be resuming here today. And I just confirmed from the HR that the job offered to you is that of a cleaner. Congratulations. <laughs> no, no, no. There, there must be a mistake somewhere. This, I, this can't be. Yes, Miss Helen, there is no mistake anywhere. You can take a look at it. Your name and your position. Helen Duro as the cleaner. How? Back to Good morning, Ma. Ma, I believe there's been some mistake. How may I help you? I applied for the role of an actual accountant, only for me to get here this morning and be told that I was hired as an office cleaner. And? Ma, this is not fair. My qualifications exceed that. And you say this is not fair? Did you say this is not fair? You wanted a job, and the firm offered you what was available, with more than adequate payment, and you say it's not fair? The last I check, this is my firm. If you feel we have treated you unfairly, our doors are wide open to accommodate your absence. Helen, next time, Next time you knock, you wait for a respond. This is an office and not a commercial taxi where you batch in at will. Leave my sight. Leave my sight this minute. Get out and shut my door. This food is too wicked. 
How can she be that petty? Me, Helen Duru. A first class graduate work as an office cleaner. How? God forbid. What are you now doing? Tavi marriage later letter, of course. Excuse you? Why? Are you okay? Don't, don't, don't try it though. Don't, don't try it. Please come to your senses. What, what are you doing? Miriam, I should work as an office cleaner. Really? No offense to your academic accomplishments, okay? But there are millions of Nigerians in diaspora with better qualifications, all right? With less exotic jobs. So what are you saying? Babe, they chose that. I didn't choose this. What is all of this? Cleaner. So, um, you want to resign because your petty boss gave you a job to clean and to wash the toilet. Have you forgotten your... your Actual monthly pay is 150k. Eh? We name it calculate something for you. What are you calculating? Wait now, calm down. What's this? What's this now? This 1.8 million year per year. This is what you be getting every year. We'll pay our rent 800 k You have one million year to yourself. Okay, so you want to resign for a job that took us four years. To get this kind of offer, just because of a fancier title. How about now, Helen? Do better. For Miriam, reason this thing. How do I tell people that I work as an office cleaner? Have you thought about how Ariza will look at me when he finds out that his girlfriend, his so-called girlfriend, is an office cleaner? Office cleaner? Oh, accountant. They're all the same thing, bruh. They're all the same thing. Okay, so you want to tell me now that if you resign, you will also break up with Arinze. And then now we will now be two jobless girls in the house. Because definitely you would break up with him because you don't want to date a guy when you're not working, right? Is that what you want to do? Helen, this is a miracle job. All right? This is a godsend job. And you, we can't even waste it. We, can't, we have to make the best out of it. Do you get? There is dignity in every level. So you can't tell me you want to lose that job away like that. What are you doing? Ma, these are old useless papers. These old useless papers contain information about people, institution, and industry. Information that can mar them and end us lawsuit once in the wrong hand. You have to shred them properly before being disposed. I'm sorry, Ma. I didn't know. How would you know? Of course you didn't know. But you were quick to create a scene about how overqualified you are when you cannot even handle the most important assets, people's data. My dear, for your information, if you desire to run, you must first learn to work. You know, I still have like a thousand and one places I would like us to go to. Well, not everyone is as privileged as you are to be self-employed. So, it's time to say goodnight. I don't want to say goodnight. I am really into you, Helen. And I want you to always be happy by my side. I am already by your side and I'm happy here. You know what? Just one more place. One more place and we're done for the night, okay? Please. Come on. Then I'll wake up late tomorrow and it will be difficult for me to get a boss that will come into me to the office. And also I would get carried. How about this? I am an early riser, so 
you give me a time, I'll show up. I'll, you know, take um, you to work. No, 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 no. Um, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to stress you like that. You know, I'll do anything for you, right? I know, and I don't want to take advantage of it. So, um, tell me about work. You, you haven't said anything about it. How's well, that going? It's going pretty well, but you know, I mean, it's the same old sorting data, managing everything. Let's just enjoy our time together and live boring office just. Oh, really? Spending time with me is precious. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So I have to go now. No, say some more. Mm. Little, just a little longer. <laughs> Ten minutes. Ten minutes? Ten minutes. Are you sure? Don't make it 20 from 10. <laughs> <laughs> there to walk or sleep. Excuse me? Oh, please. The CEO has been looking for you. Maybe I should even tell her your father will indeed kill you and... Yes, um, now that she's here. Okay. Stella, how does a log normal distribution work in this insurance setting? A log normal... Hey, Jesus. You don't hey, know it? No, I know it. Let me explain. That's what I'm doing. Look, no matter what they give. Look, no matter distribute. It's no matter. Do you know it? I believe it's a continuous probability distribution of random variables whose log dreams are usually distributed. We use it to determine the size of the distribution since it is positively skewed and varies from zero to infinity. Ah, uh -uh. exactly the same thing I was about saying. Will you shut up? Shut up and get out of my office. My knowledge. I think come on, get out of my office. Helen, please get me my lunch. Okay. Yes, um, my name said I should get lunch for her. Would you be needing anything? Um, eh? I never knew that cleaners also run around. Anyways, I'm hungry. You need to get us food. At least we that do the real work in the company needs to eat. Hey, Jiro. She should also get you food as well. Take, go and get us food. Stella, why are you so hard on her? What is it? Which one is why am I hard on her? I mean, she doesn't do any meaningful job in this company. Do you know that this girl was even sleepy when I went to call her for madame? Stella. Stella what? Eh, uh, don't worry. Your secret is safe with us. At least nobody will know that you sleep and snow. That's the only thing you know. Is there any other thing? Were you not sleepy when I went to call you? I beg go and get us food. My dear, take the money and go and get the food. And don't waste my time. Your lunch is on your table. I hope you got the order correctly. Eh? The toilet is a bit messy, so go clean it up in case somebody else wants to use it. The toilet can be messy, I just cleaned it now. I am not forcing your cleaning. I'm only saying you should go clean the toilet. Do your job. You are employed to work. Work! Please, excuse me.
Madam, you've taken your bait twice since you came back. What's in the happen? You enter Gota, you enter Lago. Hmm. I wish I entered Gota. So which is it? If you see that Stella girl, eh? That which girl. Which one? Oh, oh, oh. Miss Pepe, your film. Mm -hmm. And what happened to her? Can you believe that this girl messed up the toilet and she didn't clean it just to spite me? I did not change it for her. Right after she made me buy lunch for her. Uh-uh. You're like, yeah, anybody, whoa. I did not change it for her. Ah. My guy. You didn't fuck up, So what did you now do? My dear, nothing. I just, I just feel like my hands are tied. I mean, who would side with a cleaner that is in loggerhead with a higher ranking staff? You see, that's the mindset that's so fucked up. That's bullshit, guy. Like, why would you just come to a workplace and just start bullying people? It doesn't make sense. If not me, I will give her what to what to as they ought. She's not, um, she's not, she's not fit trying with me now. I'll just, I'll just give her a warning. You give her a warning? Mm -mm. Go and hug her instead. In fact, if you wish there, you peck her. Or buy her tea. Do you understand? See, my guy, violence upon violence, as they hurt, just they clear them. I don't, you know, you know, say she no fit try with me now. As they hurt, I they give them straight, straight, as, as, as she won't make her do them. Because I don't understand why somebody would want to bully me inside my own workplace. And I'm so sure that the same salary which they collect, not the same one which they collect too. What do they tell me? Please mm -hmm. So after giving her violence upon violence, when they sack me, you go shall buy gun when you go use gold teeth for, to pay rent, are we? There are, there are other ways to teach a person a lesson. You can do it low-key, undercover, you understand? But at least you will collect. That's the main thing, collect. Mm, tax collector. It's not your fault. Mm. It's you that will still come and frown face. Don't follow me frown face. Don't be telling them I'll do this work. Hey, you do it. Oh, OK. We'll come find with you. We'll go take chalk now for us. Have You know, with the way you dress, your neighbors must think you have a fancy job. Well, thank you for the compliment. I didn't know I looked that good. I always complimenting you, please. I that having you in this kitchen is a terrible idea. Really now? You can't even cook and yet you're disturbing me. Hey, 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 no, no, don't say that. Don't say that. I do know how to cook, okay? Mm. I've been inviting you over to my place so I can spoil you silly in my comfort zone, but you keep refusing. I am not coming to your place. Hey, you know, I really need to understand what the problem is here. Is it that you are worried that my cooking will rip yours to shreds? Or you're just afraid of seeing my mom? Me? Afraid of who? No. Uh, you keep saying that, but every time it comes up, you know, you keep, you know, evading the conversation. Why don't you cook here? You can go ahead and make the jello fries. But that was the agreement we had initially, until you came in, started hovering around the kitchen, and now you've practically taken over the cooking. Well, that is your fault, not mine. And 
You don't expect me to just sit and watch while you do everything wrongly. Okay, now, young lady, that is a challenge. Now, young lady, slow down because that is a challenge. So what will happen is you will give me your office address. I will make my special jollof rice and have it delivered to you. How about that? I'll text it to you later. Well, I don't understand. You, you, you pretending you don't know your office address. What's the problem? I'll, t I'll text it to you so you don't forget. Monday is too far. Mm, not so considerate, girl. But your boyfriend is a genius. So I'll put in the address. Okay. Lawson Avenue. Number... 16. But please, call before coming. Because I might be busy and... My boss, she's very strict, so no surprises. 16 Lawson Avenue. Okay, I think I need my phone to put that down. Don't want to forget I that. thought someone said he's a genius. Well, every genius knows that the best way to retain information is to put it down, right? So, let's look at that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Hey, you went to him, why? What are you thinking? Wait, can you calm down? You're being dramatic. I'm being dramatic. How? Okay, wait. What if this guy... What if this guy goes to a random office with jello fries on the Monday? What would you say about that? He will call me before going. Look, everything just happened so suddenly. I didn't even know what I was saying or what I was thinking. So please just calm down, please. Ah. So when he calls you, what would you say? That I'm not at the office, that my boss sent me somewhere. There are lots of things I can say. I just have to get through each day. I just feel like we should come out clean. You kids. Eh? Come yes. out come out clean. How? And tell them what? That I'm a cleaner. Mm -hmm. Are you for real? What's wrong with you being a cleaner, please? So I should come out and tell him that the co-founder of the fastest rising tech company is dating a cleaner. Come on, Miriam, you can do better than that. The guy that. loves you, bro. Go, girl. Don't allow me to, to say wrong words, please. The guy loves you. So even if you're a cleaner or you're a conductor, it doesn't matter. Babe, I'm sure you know that if love was the only thing that a relationship needs to thrive, then the society will suffer less heartbreaks and divorce rates. I want to be living fake life. So it's fake life that will get you to the point of where you want to be. Eh? Thank you. Eat your food now. I know they eat that plus my appetite. Because of Ada. So this food you are eating will soon choke you. You're not dying, Ada. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to clean out the drawers. What are you looking for inside the drawers? What? Ma, I, I haven't touched any document that instructed me not to touch. I was only cleaning out. That particular drawer contains very confidential documents. My friend, get out! Get out this minute! Get out of my sight! Don't ever go close to that drawer anymore!
Halloween. Hello? Girl, I'm in hot soup. Can't you talk to me? What's going on? Calm down now. I really want to come and pick me from my office. Okay. Ah, he's already the end of work, so why can't he? Are you for real? I give him a wrong address now. Oh, right. Um, you could literally just tell him that you were sent to evaluate a work, yeah? Far, far away from the office. And when you're done, you just take a bus home. I guess that sounds better. Okay, I'll tell him that. But I just hope he doesn't insist on seeing me. You know how loved up he can get. You know what? I think I'll just tell him to wait for me in the house so he doesn't get too suspicious. That sounds nice. He can head over. I'm already at home, okay? Okay, thank you. Honestly, I really don't know why Lily likes stressing herself. I offered to pick her up at the office, but no, she said something about already being in a bus. Yeah, and the thing is, I just hope she doesn't get back late, yeah? Because the traffic at that route is something else. Well, how come so? I'll just um, give her a call, tell her to, you know, drop off at the next junction, I'll go pick her up. No, 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 no. Why? No, it's not necessary. It's not like you can't actually call her, but the thing is, you know how these bosses can be so dangerous, especially taking calls and disclosing a location that's not so nice. You can just wait, or better still, I'll let you know when she gets back. Um, not a problem. You know what? I will. I'll send her a message then. I will. Yeah, that sounds perfect. Uh, thanks, Mary. Bye, Amuse. Yeah. <laughs> this girl wants to take me to L5. She wants to take me to L5. How far now? What's going on? Hey. 
Ah. Helen, how did this get wet? I went to the restroom to change it. Found it like that. Ah. Was it flooded or something? I don't understand. Ha. Ah. Someone is playing pranks on me, but my God passed them. Oh, wow. Sorry. Are you okay? That must be Arinze. Yes. Should I call him? And tell him what? Hello? You're meant to be in the bus. And you want me to play conductor and passenger right now? Don't, don't, don't do that to me, please. Well, he wants me to meet him halfway. Should I just get dressed and meet him at the junction? Just do your brains. Okay, there's nothing I'm just going to tell you. There is no harm in going on a vacation, all right? I mean, you can just try. What do you want me to tell you? God, I'm so tired. I'm like literally so stressed out. Did you Sorry. cook? Did I cook? Eh, I cooked though, but I don't used to give my food to Laya. Please. <laughs> I'm hungry, get me food again. I'm coming, okay? Just take it easy, I'm coming. Okay. Hey, dear. Done for the day? Yes, yeah, so I need to start rushing out before traffic will arrest me. <laughs> that is so true. Okay, so do you have any trash? Trash? Mm, I doubt. No, not at all. I don't. I don't have to. Stella, do you have any trash? Stella, I am emptying the trash bin for the last time today. Do you have any trash? Are you disturbed? Why is it that you find it very hard to understand something? I mean, that your, your jobless doesn't mean that everybody should be like you. Please, my head is exploding here and you're talking trash. Get out. How did such a simple question trigger those? Helen, Helen, please, please, please. Hey, don't be angry. She has been on some tough valuation now for like three days. And Madame said she has to turn it in before leaving. So please, it's not her fault. Don't be angry. Just give her. Please. Okay. Stella, please, can you give me an estimated time of when you be done? I need to lock up since you don't have a spare key. It will be done when I will be done. Can you please just give me an estimate? Someone is waiting for me. Can you just shut up? And be quiet for once. Wait, do you think I was joking when I said my head was exploding earlier? I mean, look at the calculations. They are all entangled and the spreadsheet messed up. Please just let me be. Ho. Oh. Can I take a look? You think it's a chess play? <laughs> you seem to have forgotten that I applied for this role. Okay, let's see. Good. Mm. Oh. Okay, so this is where the problem lies. We ignored the constants and it messed up the whole thing. Just one minute. There you go. All done. Wait. How did you do it? Uh, um, I would have explained further, but I'm pressed for time. What if the boss asks for review? How do I explain that? Um, just give me access to the document and I'll help you if it's urgent. Here is my email. Okay. 
Okay, please wait. Thanks for your service. Stella, you never cease to amaze me. I just want to lock up quickly. I didn't do it for your money. Look at me thinking of something for me. Wow. Oh wow. This is lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Like after paying for that sumptuous meal at the restaurant. Now you're really starting to outdo me. I'm I'm jealous. Oh please. <laughs> I just wanted to split my first salary on you. Thank you so much for being so supportive. Thank you. Your work, you... You enjoy it, right? Uh, it's alright. It's just work-like, but it's good. Work-like. You know, it worries me. I remember when you got the job, you were super excited. You're all over the place. And now everything just declined in such a short while. I, I didn't want to pester you because it seemed like you didn't want to talk about it at first. Babe, there is really nothing to talk about. But your eyes say it's only wise. Look, Helen. I love you, and I am here for it all. The bad, the worse, the ugly. Here you are, woman. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my boss, she is not exactly the nicest person, and she's someone I look up to in the industry, so I'm trying to stick it out. And most of my senior colleagues are nasty. Are you being harassed? Are you being overworked? No, not exactly. It's just that sometimes my feelings are hurt and I feel less. That is workplace bullying, you know, right? You're going to have to resign immediately. Excuse you? That's workplace bullying. How much are they paying you? Tell me, I'll double it, okay? You have to resign. What makes you think you can dictate to me? You can't help but flaunt your money, can you? And do I look like I'm some desperate gold digger that is desperate to depend on a man? I didn't mean it that way. I'm only looking out for you. Oh, please. What if my feelings are hurt from time to time? That doesn't give me the entitlement to laze around at home just because I have a man. Okay. I'm sorry. I really am. I, I, I'm in no position to, you know, dictate what you, what you should do. Hey, you have such an independent mindset, and it's one of the reasons I admire you so much. I'm sorry, okay. I'm your partner in this. Not your boss or some dictator. I'm also sorry for going off like that. Helen, I love you. And I will do everything to keep you safe 
Plus I was born with you with all of my heart. I shared some documents to you. Check your mail and point out the corrections. You want me to do your job for you? You are not doing my job. I'm paying for it. Look, Stella, if I need a side hustle, I know where to apply for it. Oh, really? Yeah. If you can't do your job, then seek qualifications from the higher ups, not me. Oh, wait. You think I don't know my job? Eh? I know my job and I can do it perfectly well. See, I'm only trying to help you exercise your brain so it doesn't get stagnated. I am an exceptional actuarial accountant, if you must know. Well then, if you're so good at it, then do it yourself. Stop bothering me. Really? It well, looks like you just missed a spot. Do your job. I don't need the help of a mere cleaner. Just know your place and act accordingly. What? Oh, we have a dustbin. Did the cleaner tell she won't do her job? Want to do your job? Stella, pick them up. I should do your job for you. I can't touch those trash. I mean, I have fleets of maids that do that for me. I can do your job. You were paid. You must be out of your bloody mind. You must think I'm a fool, don't you? With all the silly games you play around here. Ah uh ah. -uh. What did I do? Are you a baby? Who in his or her right senses empties the bag of trash on the floor? Look, I am so ready to send you back to the metal home, which I'm sure you escaped from, if you don't start cleaning these things right now. Start picking this up right now, before you just pick it up. Let it be the first and the last time you try this. I am nobody's slave here. I clean up after you every day. I go home with body aches. Sometimes I even miss lunch. I run your errands. Yet my job is the most on the mind. Is that a trending thing for you ladies now? I doubt. I just don't like it. You don't like it? It's okay. But please, ensure you don't stain the environment. I won't, Mom. Okay. Do you know how furious the client was? Firm. I'm sorry, Ma. I evaluated and edited the slides, but... But what? What are you trying to explain? You decided to give them wrong estimates. Exposing us to the risk of a lost field. And how dare you give me excuses? How dare you? I'm sorry, Ma. I'm not making excuses. Helen here must have missed it up. She's the only one that has access to the document aside the two of us. I can see you girls don't have value for your jobs. Oh yes, you don't have value for your jobs. No, ma. I was working on it when she came and said she wanted to lock up. She offered to help. I said no. She wanted to prove that she's qualified for the job, so I let her. I'm 
sorry, ma. She asked me to pay her and I refused. I think she tampered with the figures because I refused to pay her. Say the truth now. But that's not true. I handed off the documents immediately after reviewing them. <laughs> Were you given access to those documents? Yes, ma'am. Did you offer to work on them or eventually worked on them? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Were you paid for the service? No, ma. I didn't do it to get paid. You wanted to show yourself. Then realize you're overqualified for the role you handed. Then you decided to sabotage everything. Oh, goodness. Helen, just say the truth. What are you doing? You would have just told me to pay you. And I would have given you the money instead of sabotaging my job. What did I do to you? <laughs> now you both get out of my office. <laughs> get out of my office! Get out. Good morning, Ma. Yes. I I took this to the HR and I was asked to bring it to you directly. A resignation later. Yes, Ma. I assume you have gotten a more befitting role elsewhere. No, Ma. So what is it about? I have always looked up to you, Ma, and I was so foolish for not recognizing you the very first day we met. But I would gladly accept the prize I'm paying for that mistake. Is this an expression of guilt? Not exactly, Ma. I just don't do so well with false accusations. I take pride in the competence and dignity of my job, paid or unpaid. I'm truly sorry for my bad manners and for meddling where I shouldn't have. Listen, I don't get involved in petty dramas. If you know whatever issues you have with Stella, go and sort it out. And don't let it affect my livelihood. You knew? You might have a smart mouth, but you are no fool. Those mistakes were too clumsy for a person of your intelligence. You think I built this? without being meticulous and considerate about humans? You think so? I'm sorry, ma'am. You should still show remorse about intermeddling where you shouldn't do. Go and check where you were wrong and decide your punishment. If after reflecting on what you have done and still decide you want to tender your resignation letter, I will not refuse it. Okay, I'll do that, ma. Thank you. Meanwhile, I'm not particularly about your tears. Save them for your people. Okay, ma. Thank you. So what about what's this one saying? You were about to bring him for the other hand to that. Thank you, Mrs. Corrett. So what is this thing? Yeah. Good morning, ma'am. Your resignation later. No, ma'am. It, it's the punishment I believe I deserve for meddling. Fair enough. You want to remedy your mistake without payment. Stella. Yes, ma'am. Hand over the file and all documents concerning Glencoe Fire Insurance. Okay. Make sure you turn it in before the end of the week. Yes, ma'am. And don't let it affect your office duties. It won't, ma'am. Okay. Helen. When you gain access into those documents, block everyone else not to gain access to it. Okay. You will be held responsible for any error. Do you understand me? Yes, ma'am. That's all. Okay, ma'am. Let's see. 
Are you ready? What's wrong? Are you sure about this? I mean, are you sure she would like me? Come on. My mother has been dying to meet with you. She loves you already. So you're sure she would accept me even though I'm not rich? Look, even if you happen to be a waitress, it doesn't matter. You're accepted already. You're the woman her son is in love with. And now, by the way, you look absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Thank you. So. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. This way. Um, make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Um. Uh, so I'll get my mother now. She's your mother? Yes. Uh, a small world, isn't it? No, wait. The two of you know each other. Yes. She's my employee. She's a cleaner in my company. A cleaner? Yes, a cleaner. Helen. 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 Helen, wait, wait, wait. What was that about? You've been lying to me. Yes. Yes, I've been lying to you and deceiving you all this while. I applied to become an actuary accountant only for me to end up becoming a cleaner just because of a simple mistake I made. And you didn't think to say anything? So that what? So you can pull some strings and rub your connections in my face? Or even tell me to quit so you can double what I earn? Or oh, you prefer to lie and deceive me instead? It's better than being looked down on. Looked down on? Have I ever? Look, even if you don't, everyone else will. Your friends, your mom, the society will look down on me. And what about my love for you? You would rather listen to what people would say. Create an exaggerated scenario in your head over the love I feel for you. I mean, say, look, love is not the only thing that keeps a relationship. Yes. But then you're right. Love is not enough. I need honesty, vulnerability, and understanding. Not lies and insecurity. I can't believe it. What a small world. Out of all the mothers in the world, where did it have to be her? Baby, he doesn't even have a right to choose his own mother, you know, right? Miriam, you see that woman? She's definitely out to ruin my life. My career, my relationship that I just started. 
So, do you want to leave Arians here because his mother is your boss? Am I even in a position to make a decision right now? If you were in issues, would you continue dating your mother's cleaner? You see, the issue here is not that he's angry that you are a cleaner. He's just hurt that you lied to him. Baby, I was just helpless. I couldn't bring myself to tell him that. Then that's not love. Love is true, babe. And if you can't tell the truth and be vulnerable about your insecurities, then that's unfair to your partner. Miriam, look, I don't think you understand. I have literally been alone all my life, hustling through. And people are always ready to look down on me and take advantage of me at the slightest weakness that they see. Helen, those were people. This is Arinze, and he loves you. You have to start believing that you're worthy of his love. If not, you just frustrate this guy. Babe, do you think you will ever forgive me? He will because he loves you, okay? Look, there are tests to love and that's fame, money and status. All these things crumble at the face of love. Just give it time, it will come around, okay? a new one. You're serious about her, right? Listen, that young lady is a driven independent woman. She struggled to accept that role, so don't judge her. I would like to know why you took a particular interest in her. You're not the type to keep on deserving employees around for the fun of it. It's something about that girl. Did you give her a hard time, Mom? Because I remember she used to return so drained and, and unmotivated. Look at you, interrogating your mother. I thought you were angry she lied to you. I love her, Mom. I really do love her. And the thing is, she, she hasn't even let me in fully. Just, I just really wish she would let me help her. You know, do something for her. At least use my influence to make life easier for her. Don't even dare. You cannot force a strong-willed woman to do anything, else you will hurt yourself. So what am I supposed to do? Just sit back and watch her navigate through the rough hurdles? You can love her into trusting you. Once a woman trusts her man, she can help herself. You forgot to grant me access to the documents you turned in earlier. I'm sorry, Ma. I'll do that now. I hope I won't be getting another resignation letter from you, will I? Good. I believe you're smart enough to separate your personal life from your work. Yes, Ma. Helen, you can be whatever outside. But you see, in here, you're my employee. I wouldn't go easy on you for any personal reasons. Yes, ma'am. And don't forget to grant me access to the documents. Are 
Are you okay? Yeah. You know you can't deceive me, right? I'm sure you're not. How is work today? And did your boss ask any help today? Surprisingly, she didn't. She even said I shouldn't let personal feelings interfere with work. Are you for real? You know, that woman is full of surprises. I keep saying this because if I have a boss like that... Hmm. Wow. What about Arinze? Has he come around? Mm -mm. I, I went to his office today, but he wasn't around and he has not been taking my calls. I just hope I'm not coming off as desperate. How? Babe, it's, it's, not, it's not you being desperate. You persisting, it's, it's your way of sending an apology across. All right, just give him some time. He will come around, okay? Well, you know how much I hate being in the wrong. Like, it's, it's weighing on me so heavily. I just wish I had something that would distract me from all of this. Okay, then. Well, some good news, dude. What good news can I possibly get in this situation? You know, Ellen, one thing I notice is, that I'm always noticing is, when you have small issue like this, you feel like the world is over. Why? Is it not? How? You better calm down, no. There are so many good news you could listen to, and I'm sure it will share you up, except you, you are not a good listener of good things. Well, a Canadian company offered me, moi, <laughs> employment. What? Yes. Yes. And you know what? Hmm. They're going to process my PR and everything. Imagine that. No middleman. No agents. Like agent and Jawala. There is no agent. The only thing that's there for me is to just save up and get my tickets. And your girl is gone. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, congratulations, baby girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. When did this happen? Uh, two days ago. Two days ago, and you kept it to yourself? Excuse you. You've been in one moody for two days. What were you expecting? I was just trying to be sensitive, I think. Oh, please. To help with sensitivity. My girl is literally about to leave her dreams. Ah! <laughs> Baby girl. I'm so happy for you. Thank you, Oh, yeah, leaving me. I'm not happy about that. But ah, we're still together. <laughs> and you could come visiting. You know that, I right? Wish. It's like it's that easy, but I will. you used to see asked you to do away with the picture. Oh, I can't do away with it. I can't forget them. I can't. I won't forget them. My daughter, my only sister, I won't forget them. I won't forget them. Get me the blue diary from the drawer. Yes, ma'am. What do you think you're doing? What is wrong with you? Ma, you said I should get the blue diary and the picture is... Oh, shut up! Shut up! Shut that thing you call ma! Shut it up! What's you be this strong-headed? How did your mother even 
cope with this your rebellious attitude during your child teenagehood? I was orphaned when I was nine. What? Now oh, I see. Give it to me. And get out. Walk, be smart and get out. Be smart for once. Oh, please. I see where your silly attitude is coming from. Nonsense. You need to slow down this period. Perhaps you could, you know, take a trip somewhere so you could rest. I'm not going anywhere to, to escape this pain. Don't waste your money, Arise. Mom, I can't stand seeing you like this. Can you do it for me, please? It's all my fault. I should be able to bear this much. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe this is as a punishment. No, 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 that's okay. There was nothing you could have done about it. It's not your fault. She was my child. My child, that is that she was my child. I'm supposed to protect her. It's my job to protect her, not hers. <laughs> <gasps> Arizi, I think you should be going. I shouldn't be doing this in the office. Anyone can walk in here. Excuse me, but I... Sorry, it took me a while to come around. I just had to process everything. You good? Yeah, I'm good. And my mom hope she's not in any way. <laughs> no, though. no, no. Everything is just great. We're keeping things professional. Are you telling me the truth? Honestly, I thought we were cool at first. She was even the person that suggested that we keep things professional, but your mom is the most unpredictable woman I know. She suddenly started acting irritable and said a lot of insensitive things to me. It took every ounce of strength in me not to give her a piece of my mind. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have spoken about your mom that way. It's fine. Look, I'm being boyfriend now, not a son. Besides, you've never ranted to me this way before. Look, um, my mom, she, she may continue to react the same way for a while. I won't take it to heart. I expected the reaction from her, but I'm just surprised it took her that long. Look, trust me. It has nothing to do with the two of us. Then what? I, my mom lost two very important people in her life at this time of the year. So she's, she's never really herself. I have no idea. She may seem tough on the outside. But the truth is, my mom is scaling more hurdles than she would like to admit inside. I'm really sorry. For these people to be this important to your mom, they must have been important to you too. So sorry. Sorry, baby. I 
think Madam must have lost a deal or something. She has been so upset this week. She just fired Shem. She fired the head of communications. I mean, is that even normal? She just fired that poor boy without even blinking. I mean, all these rich people and their mentality, you know, they just act like deities. I thought you were rich. And I mean other rich people. I mean, she's so bitchy. Please watch your mouth. What are you saying? What? You want to go and snitch to her? Miss Goody Two Shoes. I beg you, me. I mean, everybody in HR says she's like that sometimes, so why can't I call a spade a spade? Remember that she's someone's mother and she pays your salary. The least you can do is tame your gossiping tongue and have some respect. Just shut up. You think Saidi I will make her promote you? You are a common cleaner and that's what you keep doing. Know your place, Helen. You are a cleaner. Go and do your job. What are you even doing here? Who brought you here? Come on, that's too hard. I beg, go to your position. Stella! 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 Yes, ma. What is the meaning of this nonsense? What is this? Stella, day in, day out, you submit to me half big, poorly researched, unprofessional valuation. What is wrong with you? Ma, I do you shut up? Shut up! Don't talk while I'm talking. What is wrong with you? You think I built this firm by bankrolling incompetent illiterates? No, ma, ma, I did the research. I did it. Oh, yes, yes, you did it. You did it, but you can't go beyond your level of intelligence. What is wrong with you? You don't even make any attempt to work on yourself. Ma, please, I will redo it. I will be more thorough this time, please. No, I don't think I have that patience with you anymore. No, you don't suit the role. Ma, please. I beg you in the name of Almighty God, don't sack me. My family depends on my salary. If you sack us, we will die of hunger, please. Oh, really? So I should be paying you for your incompetency? I should be paying you fat salary for your incompetency? Ma, that's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that you should give me a second chance. I will improve, I promise. I will be more thorough with my job this time, please. Just give me another chance, please, ma. Just, 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 just look at just look at <laughs> You know what? The HR will give you a warning letter. For the very last time. I mean for the very last time. Take this rubbish away from here. I'm sorry, ma. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. <laughs> Just go, 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 go out of my sight. Um, I'm not even hungry for today. Just scrap it, please. Yes, ma. But well, I got you this instead. What is this? Uh, this is tiger nut milk. It's very refreshing and it relieves stress. Oh, that's thoughtful of you. Thank you. Um, I actually don't want to take anything today. You have a picture of my younger self? That's a mistake. That's my sister. That's a picture of me. You? This, this, is, this is a picture of my mom and I. You must be making a mistake. That was my sister. My memories of how we are friends, but definitely not forgotten. She was in a coma for some time after we had an accident and my foster parents and I would always visit her until she gave up the ghost. This is the same picture. It's a picture of me and my mom. My God! Come see! Come see, Yotoku! Come see! Why? How do you know that name? My, it's just my mom that calls me that name. I'm your mom. Come see. Come see your chuku. I'm your mom. That's my sister. What are you saying? I'm your. Hey. 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 
I would have sworn this was a prank. But looking at you faced, what on earth is going on, Helen? Miriam, I have no clue. I honestly wish I can explain. Did she tell you what this instinctual mask is all about? I didn't ask. Make it make sense. You were told your mother died in an accident. Okay, so where was she all this time and you were in the custody of another woman? She said they were sisters. Blood sisters. I don't know. She just said sisters. It still doesn't make sense to me. Where was she all this time? You were all alone. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand. Oh God. I really don't. I don't know anything anymore. So what happens now? What's she making up for? What's the excuse she's making up for? I have no idea. I didn't wait for any explanations. I just, I couldn't stand there to listen to anything she has to say. Oh, Ellen. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry you have to go through all this. Here, I am so confused right now. I know. I mean, what becomes of my life? What becomes of my career, my relationship, everything that I've known? This is all just so messed up. What should I do? Okay. You'll get to sort it out, okay? On your own. Just take your time. It's okay. It's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I tried calling you several times. Uh, I guess you've been pretty occupied. It's okay. It's okay. You haven't been coming to the office. You're avoiding her. I don't know what to say to her. I don't know what to feel about this whole thing. I, I can't even comprehend how to accept this. I'll say, take your time. Take as much time as you need. But also put into consideration that she's in as much tumor as you are. But take it up when you're ready. You go to see her. Why do you have to do that? Can't you just keep living as strangers? I mean, she can't just show up at will and expect anything from me. No, 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 Helen. She's not just showing up at will. She's been hurting. Everybody told her to give up. But she didn't. She kept on looking. She kept on digging, searching. And she's been plagued by nightmares. And guilt. Look, you have every right to feel the way you are, okay? Your feelings are valid. But 
you're not the only one hurting, she's hurting too. And look at it this way, you deserve to know the truth, as she deserves to tell it. I can't let her come and turn my life upside down. Now I'm supposed to give up on my job, my relationship, no, my... No, no, We don't have to give up our relationship. So am I to continue dating my brother? I have been committing incest, all thanks to her. No. Look, yeah, I'm your brother, technically, but not biologically. She adopted me when I was 12 years old. Um, I guess the loneliness almost drove her insane and she needed someone in her life. Trust me, she was a wreck. Much more than what she is today. So how come you never opened up about this? She was good to me. She was the best. She treated me way better than my biological mother could ever have. Maybe it was comfort, maybe it was denial, I don't know. I just, I just got okay with letting people know she was my mother. Now I have so much more questions. And you deserve all the answers. sister was the only family I had when we lost our parents. She gave me everything. Everything a girl needed to survive. But I selfishly lived on my own terms. And I let her down countlessly. Did you abandon me with her? Never. Yes. I was ashamed and disappointed that I was pregnant as an undergraduate. But I loved you the moment I set my eyes on you. Your arrival made me forget all the backlash from the public. It even bonded my sister and I better. But how do I have such fence memories about you? My sister will always put me first before herself. She insisted I continue my study. You stay with her while I'm in school. But we're always together during the holiday. So someone put you first, but you didn't put your own child first. I did what I did, I did for us. And that name was a midwife. She took care of all our needs with her media salary. I needed to complete my studies just to better our lives. There were so much bills to pay. God, your health. You felt sick a lot as a child. We tried various drugs and treatments, but it got worse. And then we suggested we go for a traditional healing method. They said it was Akmaubi. What is that? Enlargement of the lungs. And then they was familiar with it. The traditionalists 
treated you by making several incisions on your chest. That's why you have those marks. Um, wait, wasn't that dangerous? It is. But we are acting on the limited medical knowledge we had. We are desperate. You were always in pain. We just wanted to put an end to it. So she saved my life. Yes. Yes, she did. But complications arose while I was in school. She took you to go and see another traditionalist. And on her way back, <laughs> that she <laughs> it took us several months to trace her corpse after the accident. I searched everywhere. I searched all the orphanages. I had to relocate to that area. I questioned every living being there. The guilt of my daughter being all alone somewhere almost ripped me open. No amount of donations to orphanages could take that off. A couple took me in after the accident. They believed that I was orphaned and they couldn't leave me out on the streets. We moved away from that area shortly after. That must have been very difficult for you. It wasn't long before the marriage broke up. The lady blamed me for bringing bad luck to her family. So I had to live and fend for myself. But I always held them dearly. They were the only parents I ever knew. Sorry, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Maybe I could have, I could have done better, searched, I mean, sorry. You did your best. I'm just happy that I wasn't abandoned intentionally. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> like mother, like daughter. I oh, so that was why you asked the other day. My sister thought it was a bad habit and she teased me with it. I'm surprised to see someone else with my bad habit. No, nah, small world, right? Um, oh, didn't know it was this late. Oh my God. Oh. I need to hurry. It's so late. Must you go? You have barely touched your food. I can just do takeaway. Please, stay the night. Please. I don't know, I... You don't have to show up in the office tomorrow. Yes. The week has been a roller coaster, so you can just slip it in. Okay. I will just let Miriam know. Miriam? Yes. My roommate. Oh, of course. Yeah, but I'll do that after dinner. Mm -hmm. You are going to check up on her again? 
just to see if she's comfortable. You've done that three times already. The pillows, she might need them. Mom, she has enough already. Besides, she's already fast asleep. Harris, do you think I'm choking her? Or maybe I'm doing too much? <laughs> no, you're doing fine. In fact, you're doing amazingly well. She sees your heart. She understands you. Maybe we should ask her to move in. Who knows what her living condition is? Well, she's doing okay. She has a nice and comfortable apartment. At least let me see it myself. She's been doing this herself. I need to be there for her. Well, I understand you, but you also need to let time take its course. Um, you don't want to overwhelm her by rushing her. And remember, she's still digesting everything that's happening. You don't know how happy I am, Arise. I feel my sister has forgiven me. For me to just see my daughter just like that after 17 years. Oh God. I still can't believe my daughter is in a room across over there. You never can tell, but I tell her to move in and she will move in. <laughs> oh, it's okay. You need to rest now. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. Good night, then. Good night. It's not a bad place, you know. Well, I am not doing it alone. I have an amazing friend. <laughs> Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, dear. How are you? I'm fine, Mom. You must be Miriam. Yes, Mom. I'm Miriam. I'm Jim. You're Ellen's mom, I guess. Yes, I'm her mom. Okay, since you both have already introduced yourself, I must add that Miriam right here has been more than a friend and a sister. <laughs> Come on now. She has been the one taking care of us, Ma. Don't believe her. She has been the one taking care of us. Mom, don't mind her humility. Miriam here has shouldered our view for four years while I jump wanted. Wow. Miriam, I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> so tell me, what do you do? Okay, well, currently, Ma, I work at the media and communication firm, but also I plan on relocating soon. Miriam right here is such a lucky genius. She already has a job that has agreed to be responsible for getting her a PR. She just has to take care of her flight fees. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem then. We can help her fix it. Oh, yes. We have this bonus from Ethiopia Airline after a business deal. And there is um, five flight tickets. You can have one. Yes, you can. Thank you, Ma. Why can't I accept? Oh, come on. I'm not even lifting a finger. Oh, thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm um, a thank you, thank you, thank you so much, thank you, thank you. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, I always thought that employers should invest more in their employees. I mean, it yields high results in the long run. Yes, I agree with you. But you know how humans can be unpredictable sometimes. You train some of them when they think they are now the master of the game. They'll take off. True. And the employers are now left and in dry. Exactly. Either ways, we're dealing with risks. That is life. However, we can put some regulations to caution against our losses, something like binding contract and penalty for breach. Mm. That's a good one. We're going to implement that. Meanwhile. Mm. How about the HR appointing you as the new MD from next week? Well, I'd be so honored. But uh, I think I want to work my way up there. What do you mean? You're very intelligent and incredible. Maybe. But the fact remains that I haven't worked for four years and I'd love to work on the experienced people for a while before being handed such a huge responsibility. 
Let me say so. And I hope you're not afraid that the people will start thinking that I'm giving my daughter unusual advantage because you deserve it. Well, about that, uh, I think it's best we don't let people know yet. Let's just keep things more professional. Well, that's okay. I respect it if that's what I want. Thank you. Wow. So you have just been hiding this big brain of yours. <laughs> you see, I have never seen anyone maneuver Excel in my whole life. Do you, do you go to school in this country? <laughs> <laughs> and who says every Tom, Dick and Harry can afford to travel abroad? My dear, most of my skills are self-taught. Thank God for internet. <laughs> you know what? At this rate, getting promoted every year. Oh. <laughs> so you think companies dish out promotions like chocolate bars? Yes. It is done by seniority. Knowing one or two about Excel doesn't mean you're an expert. Stella, just say you are jealous. Jealous of who? This one. She should just pray that Madame doesn't get in her bad mood today. If not, she will be back to cleaning windows and dusting tables. How fast? I beg. That's too harsh. Let me hear what. I'm just being honest. to go? Yes, um, it's late. I'm sure she's calling to know when I'm coming back home. Wow, um, look, why don't you move in with us? She's mentioned it to you. Look, look at it this way. You can't keep staying here alone, especially now that Mary has traveled. Moving with us. You think it's going to be easy for us to be sneaking into each other's room to make out? <laughs> <laughs> well, mothers get very defensive when their children are cohabitan, if you don't know. So you would rather stay here alone, really? Really? Are you in any way signaling me to propose? What? You're not serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a beautiful idea. I mean, it's what I've always wanted. The thing is, I'd have to buy a new house, you know, for us to raise our family. Yeah. You have to stop that. What? Yeah. My mother and I just found each other and you are here already thinking about how to separate us again. Well, the truth is, you belong to me. Now, if she wants a piece of you, she should have a long... Because you are mine. This, she will love this. Yes, uh, Okay. I'll have it forwarded to the beach house and um, take it from there. Um, yes, so the documents, yeah, yes. um, we will, um, well, um, I'll make sure the clients, they, they get it. And, okay. um, yes, I'm sure they will love it. They will love it. Are you both now closing secret deals? Aren't you supposed to be working, young lady? That is exactly why I'm here. Now, can I see the documents you're showing our clients? I need to make sure that you are not a competition. Mm, interesting. If I show you those um, documents, you would have to work on them and turn them in tonight. Okay, sir. Okay. Arizzi, are you trying to overwork my daughter? Yeah. Acting like 
like you've just seen a ghost. Did you know please go? What is it? What? What happened? I am doomed. My work is finished. I need to just start looking for a job in another firm. <laughs> Good. Okay. What happened? What? Helen. Uh, what about her? Helen is boss's daughter. You have started with this your idle talk again. I am not joking. I'm serious. I heard it with my ears. Yes. That means they must have been testing us all along. How? What do you mean? Haven't you seen in movies where a rich man pretends to be poor to catch evil people? Huh. Wow. No wonder she was a cleaner. Despite being that intelligent and beautiful. Did they you must have wanted to get rid of unworthy employees. Oh my goodness. Did you know we are doomed. We are finished. Our world is gone. Hey. We? Yes, now. I'm not. I'm not doomed. How? I have never mistreated Elaine. I always do my job and I mind my business. <laughs> but you, girl, <laughs> you, you need to be worried, though. You even call her mother a bitch. Ah. Shh. Do you want to implicate me more? If you that's what that was. It's okay. It's okay. If you don't, please, I want to beg you. I know she's your friend and she listens to you. Uh -huh. Let me speak to her to forgive me. See, it was only a prank, oh. Eh? I was pranking. I wasn't serious. All this is, you see. I was just joking. You know, I was not serious, please. My dear, I cannot help you. Ah, I, don't, I, don't, I cannot put myself in you trouble. Don't have I don't choice, to... so you have to help me be cool. You, have, you don't have choice. I don't have choice. Please. You have to yeah. help me. When you're busy running your mouth. Hey, Jiro, please don't do this. I have to finish this thing. I don't want Madame Mahana. Mom, you're. You just let her no, not now. Oh, stop. No, not now. Because she needs to know. Okay. Alright, <laughs> so we've been planning this thing. Okay. For you. You know, like uh well, let me just show it to you. So yeah. We're having a get together right there. Oh my god! <laughs> The beach house. Yeah. Oh my god, this is the most exotic holiday resort in Nigeria. Yep. I love it. I've been wanting to go there for like ever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you, know you love I it. love it. I know. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Trust me, I have loads and loads of things lined up for you. You better have What did you think of this? <laughs>